Right, hi. Um, I've been a bit funny since I come back. I'm just playing with my lights to see if I can get that better. I don't know if that's better or worse. Anyway, I'm kind of like, you know when you know there's so much you want to do and you can't get that list formulated in your head and nothing just seems to be, I don't know, it's been weird anyway. My brain hasn't been working properly, but one thing I always want to do is build up little bits of this, that and the other samples and that for if I ever want to make little books or if I need something for a design sheet. So I've got a bit of this spotty cloth. Well, it's not really spotty, it's because it's circles, open circles. And I just thought I'd add a few stitches to it. And my initial thought was French knots in the holes. But then my secondary thought was, no, that's too predictable. So we'll try something else, Karen. So that is what I'm going to do now. Um, and then it may not come to anything. It, it will literally just be a tiny little piece of embroidered cloth that will be damp stretched and then put away. And perhaps if I ever make another batch of little books or I'm putting together a, a sheet that's got some doodling on it with a little bit of stitching on it or whatever, it might come in for that. So we'll see. But I just want to do a couple of little straight stitches on here across these open circles almost like cross hatching with a needle and thread so and this isn't stranded cotton at least i don't think it is no it's separated a little bit there so i did wonder so three yellow ones there i'm not going to keep fastening off because I'm not going to be moving massive distances across the back of this. So if we do a couple of yellow ones and then come back and go over them with a different colour maybe. Now hopefully before I give you this video I'll have done more to it so it'll look more substantial than it will when I finish this very quick video because I don't want to be videoing don't want to be giving you videos that are way way too long because I don't want you falling asleep or growing a beard so I'll leave that at that and I'll fasten that off Now I'm not going to say too much about the back of it, except to say that if it was going to be for anything else other than samples, the back wouldn't look like that. Because um, there's all kinds of things come into play with the back of your work that I can't discuss with you because it's for my class. So I'll just do a little bit of this pink which is like a bubblegum pink which isn't exactly my favourite pink but which may live quite nicely on here and then I'll go the opposite way over the lemon like I said like cross hatching with a needle and thread piece of stitching it's okay isn't it it's um, very quick very basic but I think valid still valid definitely now I'm going to do a pink one on its own because I want to bring a, bring a bit of green in so if I go here And do some pink going that way and I've got a, a dislike of even numbers 
So I'm not going to leave it at four. I'm going to do five. But I'm going to bring green in. So. Pass them that off as well. Keep that in the needle box. I'll need that again in a minute. In fact, maybe I won't actually. No, I'm not going to. So. Right, just get a little bit of green. It's kind of like, I don't, I've, I've only ever had jet lag where it's made, meant that I've woken up like in the middle of the night and been up since like four o'clock in the morning. Since I came back at the weekend, I've been sleeping normal hours, like getting up, I got up at quarter to seven this morning and feeling like I'm ready to get up because I've been in bed since maybe midnight. But then by about two o'clock in the afternoon, I'm just like falling asleep on my feet. So maybe I'm just experiencing a different kind of jet lag. But my brain definitely isn't working properly. My thought process is all out of sync. Right, so if I go there and do some green on that one as a base, and then come back and do some green on top of that pink, This is quite fine, this one. So I'll come up there. Go down there. That green and that pink is really contrasting. I like that one. Just such a nice texture. Right, so now I want some lemon to go over the green that's on its own. And then I'll leave it at that. Like I say, hopefully, there'll be more of this done by the time it goes on my blog. Um, so it'll look more substantial. And just five little tiny bits of stitching. So. not in this thread. So I said I'll pull in, see if you can really see to get the true effect of this. Um, but I do think that if I was to extend this across this bit of fabric, it would be really, really effective. So let me see. Hope it doesn't blur. What do you think? So if you can imagine if it was over a bigger area. Definitely a worthwhile exercise in exploring pattern and altering the surface of something. Okay, 